Did you hear that? This meeting is being yeah. recorded. Mm. That's to make up for all the times that I've been missing out on recording the last uh, <laughs> the last crew uh, Q Q and A. Oh my goodness. Oh, we didn't record that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the the crew Q and A where they didn't. Um, I didn't record it. Good, yeah. All right. <clears throat> I think we shall start. Yep, the stream is going on. And we are live. I am just going to put my phone here to see all the comments um, from all the people who are joining the uh, video and would like to say hi. I will start off by <clears throat> welcoming everyone. Hola, everyone, and welcome to the, I think I should say, Kere uh, Art uh, 2, the return of the sequel uh, with Tui Lindua. Uh, this is a, this is an art, you know, I think it's called, what do they say, an art jam? This is an art jam or like a live live sketch, live uh, view of uh, hanging out with Tui, our artist, who's uh, one of the, who's the uh, artist who's going to be working on the Solimbula production. Um, this is a chance to hang out uh, with him and uh, see him in action, which is pretty cool, all things considered. Uh, even though we have this uh, global pandemic going on, we can at least still use technology to uh, keep in touch with each other. And I hope uh, everyone's tuning in is um, staying safe, staying at home. Um, and and Tui, how are you? How are you doing with uh, regards to this um, the uh, pandemic and uh, the lockdown and staying home. I hope you're staying home. Are you staying home? Are you being a good boy and staying home? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm a very boring person. I stay home all the time. So it's an event when I go out. So. Ah, okay. So for you, this is like, this is like a Tuesday for you, or today Wednesday. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wednesday. Mm, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty much just um, working from home, Zoom meetings. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'll try not to sound so enthusiastic. Uh, no, it's good. It's good. Uh, I get to chat with other people, man. So this is uh, this is awesome. No, I mean, um, we're not we're not asking you to be you know 100 percent like um, you know like more. How you say extrovert people? It's fine. This is this is Zoom hangout. We be who we are and just do what we want. Let's see. Um, Glenn Bulaji Pala says good evening, boys. So good evening, Glenn. Hello, Glenn. I think so. Uh, I have to start out. I have to start out from the beginning. I cross posted this video stream to my other page, uh, to Meli Tungota, and for those of you who are watching it there now. I missed out on some of your com on some of your posts, uh, post comments. I only saw it after we'd done the stream because I was paying attention to the Solimbula video page, and not to the Tumeli Tungota page. So my bad, my apologies. Um, I've got I've got both pages open now, so I'll be checking out uh, any comments from um, either from either page. And um, actually, there was one. There was one uh, comment uh, that uh, one request from the previous uh, video from the previous video. Um, let me just scroll down. Eh? Joshua Matewai. Bula and Joshua. Josh. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Josh, yeah. So he <laughs> asked for a drawing of COVID 19 and the vaccine at war, Tui. I know we joked about uh, the. About COVID nineteen, yeah. but uh, I guess just to start things off, why don't you uh, you want to take a crack at uh, drawing COVID nineteen and the cool. vaccine at what? Do you know what the uh, yeah? Everyone knows what the uh, vac the sorry the COVID nineteen looks like, the weird uh, bubbles with the spikes on it. Mm. So um, you can start uh, sharing your screen, and we. 
Shall we begin? Oh, I, um, yeah, you could, you'll have to share the screen. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Allow oh, me to share goodness. the screen. Look at that, guys. Yeah, you can now share your screen. I, I, I grant you permission. Set. So while he's getting that ready, I will just browse the other. There you go. And uh, everyone should be viewing that on the screen. Yep, we can see your lovely desktop. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so, All right. Uh, COVID-19. COVID versus the vaccine. Yeah. Hmm. If I was, you know... <laughs> Give some hints. Okay, it's, a, so... it's the grand battle of uh, good versus evil, you know, mighty climactic uh, struggle between humanity and existence. Um, something very grand and very epic, I believe, is the word kids would use these days. Would they say epic? Yeah, people say epic. It's funny, like, you know, the way slangs work is that uh, certain words, uh, certain words that were, certain, certain normal everyday words that are used in the language, they'd be picked up by the uh, the current generation and then turned into something else. Um, so I get, you know, that's how slangs work. And so epic was around in general, but then it became you know the usage became pretty heavy past five five years or so with a lot of game like instead of saying that was amazing they say epic um especially playing video <laughs> games you know although i don't know if any of the younger gang are watching now but um if you're playing like fortnite the company that makes the game fortnite is called epic ah <laughs> uh, okay um no relation to the, the trend, I, I assume. Probably what they had in mind. I'm just going to eat a M&M. &M. What's this... in my... <laughs> Sorry. This, I only had one on the table. I found it in between the uh, the screen and the speaker. So I dusted off the, uh, the mold and whatnot, and um, it's still good. <laughs> this show was not brought to you by... By um, M and M's. M and M's. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, I. Uh, gonna... They had all this. Sorry, what? Continue, continue. Don't mind me. Oh. Yeah. Like um, you were saying, uh, COVID versus the, the the vaccine, and we're like, oh, that's a really good idea. And oh, how do I draw that? So, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, oh, I'm making it up as I go along. Um, okay. Uh, that was really loud. I hope that Ooh, didn't. What was uh, that? The crunching, the crunching. I hope that didn't um, distract oh. you. No, 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 no one can, no one can hear your crunch. In Zoom, no, no one can hear you crunch. Ah, okay. Man. We have some, uh, sorry, we have some uh, comments um, trickling in. Um, Sue Britton says, we're not to uh -huh. the time out to do this for us and to merely for facilitating. You're welcome, Sue. I'm not facilitating. I'm just, uh, so, what am I doing to you? No, you're facilitating, man. I mean, uh, you um, you you made uh, you made the effort to to do this. Um, I mean, yeah, I could have done it, but I'm I'm too I'm that lazy. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm very unorganized. I so, think yeah, that's no, the thank life you of for. 
unorganized till someone else does. Well. So. <laughs> you know, in every organization, yeah. In every organization, there's always the, the, the artsy, artsy person, and then there's the business person. And if they can work together, you have the best combination in the world. Of course, yeah. you have the, yeah. the, the, the artists who are also business minded, the rare, the rare few. I'm not yeah. one of them. <laughs> I use a calculator for simple. Um, oh my goodness! So I've just been schooled. Um, Lota uh, says, uh, "Epic is so 2018." I told you it was. You know, it was a few years back. <laughs> I did say it was a few years back. You no, know, back in my day. Um, so apparently, we use busing. Okay. What? What do we? What do they use now? Bussin, as in B U S S I N. Bussin. Bussin. I think it's in that song. Oh, wow. If it's up, if it's up, eh? That one. Man, I don't. I'm really showing my age here, guys. No oh, idea. Um... <laughs> well, I'll just take uh, Lota's uh, word for it. Bula Lota. Thanks for tuning in. And um... yeah. That is Man, when they started on. playing gangster rap, when they yeah, started playing with... gangster rap on Gold FM, I was like, oh man, yeah, we're old. Gangster rap. I mean, they had like rap in the gangster rap in the 90s, right? Yeah, the 90s, bro. That's like 30 years ago. <sighs> so imagine, you know, so, so the 30 years ago when we were kids, yeah, like that was what the. That was like the fifties. Well, when you were kids, it'll be like the forties. You know, so it's. Uh... What, what do you What do you mean? What do you mean? As in, when you were young, what was considered old for you? So. Yeah. So like, um, somebody put up a post about uh, how if Back to the Future um, was set today. That Marty McFly would have gone into his into his uh, time machine, yeah, and gone back to 1990 or something like that, or 1992. Yeah, you know, and I remember watching Back to the Future, and when he went back in time, it was like, man, that's so old, you know, and that's pretty much how people see. He's saying then you have the old people in the audience like silently shedding a tear. Ah, uh, who knew that would be <laughs> us in what 30 years? <laughs> I mean, not me, of course, because I'm young. Um, as as yeah, you yeah, know. Of course, course, not you. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm uh I'm as what the, the cool gang say, I, I'm bussing. You you're epic, yeah. I'm epic. <laughs> 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 That's a big clue. It's a big clue. So if you guys are tuning in and you see my eyes are red, I um, I have cats. I have four cats, and I'm allergic to cats. Good combination there. Eh? Uh, so yeah, yeah. I, I, I touch the cats and then I I rub my eyes and next minute I swear off your side, it's not marijuana. Yeah, see, see, now that you've explained yourself, I told you to this guy, is it not to tell it? Yeah, now that you've talked about it, everybody's looking at your eyes now. Nobody was looking at your eyes. No, I mean, they're, all, they were, they were watching your lovely um, drawing. <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, look, uh, your drawing, he's it's a guy wearing a mask. Oh, uh, yeah. It, well... And the face maybe face it's, shield. it's got a nice yeah probably he's got a face shield on uh, I, don't, I don't know I'm trying to like I said we're making it up as we go along Naka Josh Naka Josh coming up with this yeah um, Sam Grogfather says Bula guys and all the best <coughs> Naka Sam see look at that man you have well wishes Wishing you on your artistic journey to draw what people are requesting. This is so difficult. It is so hard to draw on the spot. Is it not, Tui? Or tell me otherwise. Uh, I don't know. 
it's well it's what i do so you know um I, it, it's okay i mean it, it's i like doing it um um you know like okay like freestyle rap i can't do it it just i, I you know who you know i can't do that but there are people who can you know, just come up with rhymes like there on the spot. Funny you know, you this is this is one. Well, Sorry, finish finish your thought, and you I want to. You're I gonna bust the rhyme. Hey, no, no way. No oh, way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Sorry, finish your thought. The, no, I mean it's just it's just what I'm I'm good at doing. You know, I'm I'm not good at doing a lot of things, but I can do this. And there right. are people that can do, can do better jobs, a uh, better job at this, uh, you know, and, but that's the, that's the great thing is that I, it will be boring if you are the best and then there was nowhere else to go, but I'll always find mistakes or you, you always find people who can do it better than you. And it's just about, you know, trying to get better, you know. Yeah, it's 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 weird uh, as artists all this uh, self self what's the word self critical very uh, like hard on ourselves like oh you know the work that we do yeah it's all right but you know of course other people were like man that's amazing that's great work and we'll be like we'll say yes thank you but inside we'll be like mm, it's all right probably can do better and and then for sure as hell you always compare yourself to other artists in the world uh, it's both I think a good thing and a bad thing like. If, if you're forever con comparing yourself to others, you'll never be happy, you know, on, on, the, on the one hand. You'll always feel forever be like, ah, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough. Uh, and that can actually make you like not want to pursue your, your work. And the, the flip side on that, however, is that you, if you're comparing yourself to the best, you're always like, that's a drive. That's like, you know, uh, not so much I want to beat this person, but I want to be as good as this person. How do I do that? And then with, uh, especially with artists, uh, who was it that said that the infamous saying, um, good, uh, you know what, I'm gonna have to go Google it. All right, apparently um, Pablo Picasso said, good artists copy, great artists steal. Oh boy, That's mm -hmm. my, I like that because, you know, I, I think, well, it's up for debate how you want to interpret it. But for me, I, I interpret it as you borrow elements from uh, artists that you admire and then you incorporate it into your work and then you make it your own. So like if you like yeah. an artist, the way he draws this certain this, this style, but in a certain way, like um, you, you take that, but then you turn it into your own, um, uh, your own vision of how, you know, of how you make things. At least that's how I interpret it. Oh wow! Look at that. Is that a zombie? I know. Sorry. Hey, no, no. Um, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Like yeah. the like the previous session that we had, where you drew the Star Wars mask and the uh, Princess Leia. I can only describe as the Princess Leia helmet. Oh no! It wasn't the Princess Leia. Sorry. It was um. Who was it? Padme. Padme. It was Padme, yeah. Queen Amidala. She was dressed up as the, the hand. Yeah, that was that. Um, what am I doing? Oh, okay. So, um, I've I've had a well quite a few um, deadlines uh, that were looming, and I had to get all this stuff done. Um, so I've been doing another drawing, and. Um, I, I used to put on like, um, you know, because I'd like to, because if I'll be working up to two, three o'clock in the morning, I'd play, um, you know, a video or something to, you know, to play in the background. Uh, I can't, not, not, it can't be something that, uh, that, that, that needs my attention. It will always be something in the background, you know, um, yeah, just in the background. So I can't watch anything good. Um, or, or like uh, I'd watch a cartoon because then you you know it's it's a fairly simple plot. You couldn't watch something complex like um, 
you know, Game of Thrones or something where you have to actually pay attention because then you'll end up just watching more than working. So right. I started listening to audiobooks. Um, so they have those, uh, you know, dramatized yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, stories. Yeah. So I could listen to it uh, and uh, and uh, draw at the same time. So I don't have to look up. I'll just be drawing and I'll be listening to this story uh, going on. So I've been, I, I listened to this, uh, I just finished the zombie one. So I don't know. That, that's probably why this uh, dead break. The break. Dead break. So it, it was break. um not daybreak? Yeah. No. So dead break is what they were they called the event because um it's when all these you know all the the, the zombies woke up. Uh they, like they daybreak, out. but they break out. Yeah, but it's and it's like um, Walking Dead, where it's not really the problem. Isn't really the zombies. It's um, it was you know all the, all, all the yeah. It was all the all the people who are really um, took advantage of uh, of um, you know the situation and you know desperation and all that kind of stuff but that, i mean that's why this guy is a bit of a zombie because it's you know death i suppose um it is that it is uh with the so with the zombies uh if they touched you you would become infected so that's why i was the, that's why i ended up portraying this guy um the covid as a zombie um and the other guy is he's the vaccine but man i mean really should have done a better job at representing the vaccine yeah uh but yeah it, it is what it is yeah so okay uh it is what it is um so i went to this um i went to this convention and there were these um these artists so there was this guy that i really uh admired um his name is Kim. Uh, Kim, Kim Jong uh, G. Uh, no, he's the, he's the Korean guy who paints without using pencils. Oh, okay. Yeah, Kim Jong uh, G. Uh, it's G I, and he just draws, and he just draw, draws these amazing, um, uh, complex uh, illustrations, without doing pencil lines, you know, the things that uh, my art teacher would, you know, the art teachers would say, look, you always draw your pencils first, and then you do your construction yeah, lines. Yeah. You can't go straight in. But this guy just does that, and he's amazing. Um, and, um, you know, people had to ask, you know, they were allowed to ask questions, and there weren't very many people there. Right. Um, and you know all the work he puts out is amazing. You know it's um, like I think it's you know awesome. I think it's epic. Um, it's and I bussing. asked him, it's bussing. <laughs> it's bussing. Yeah, and I asked him. You know, he said, oh, "Oh, do you have any questions?" And I asked him, "Oh, like you know, your work looks amazing. I can't see anything wrong with it." What? Uh, and I asked him, "Oh, what?" Uh, what is your issue with your drawing? What is the problem? Uh, you know, what uh, are you regretting? And he, yeah, he swore under his breath. Well, I didn't swear. He was like, kind of muttered. And he said, yeah, I don't. And he pointed at, so we had to say, uh, we had to decide, you know, or what um, What do you want us to, to draw? And, I, uh, and somebody yelled out, owl. So he drew a clockwork owl on on a gurney being operated on by crows wearing hazmat suits wow you know like yeah yeah he went all uh, like he did he went perspective all in. there were wires well no, that's just him he just draws um like crazy things like that and right. it's he just goes straight in with a paintbrush and he draws um he inks it straight in and I asked him, oh, what, what, is, uh, what is bothering you about your drawing? And he pointed at the gurney 
um, you know, if he hadn't pointed at it, you know, nobody would have noticed. And even when he, he pointed at it, nobody could see if there was anything wrong with it. And he would say, uh, I think this, the perspective is off on this line. And like, uh, people rolled their eyes because it was like, no, nah, it's fine, you know. And then he just adjusted it and did all this stuff to it. And then he said, yeah, no, that's better. Uh, yeah, but uh, I mean, that's it. Everybody, because everybody, um, I mean, if you drew it, you knew what, you you know, you can spot your mistakes. You know what you've done wrong. Right. That's, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Also, yeah, because for, for another thing in terms of like the skill, uh, people, if you don't know, if you don't know uh, anything about the certain field or the certain skill, you won't know what looks wrong or what is wrong unless you're actually yeah. unless actually that's actually your job so like for us you know uh we, we'd be unhappy with something but for someone who you know who doesn't know anything about perspective for example we'd be like yeah that looks great but you'll be like no this is this 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 piece here needs yeah. to be tweaked and that that angle needs to be corrected to get it just right and speaking of getting it right you can you can stop here too this is good yeah okay i'll probably stop that what was <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm gonna have what to be was... killjoy but i really have to like otherwise two you will just work on one drawing all night long and you yeah know, sorry we'll never have it okay so, so this was that... for josh huh? yeah it's for josh Whoa. all right while you're signing that we have some other comments oh bulla dr t dr t says we're not going to do a great collaboration yes i am very happy <laughs> to be able to collaborate with uh this talented guy, Brand Gibbons. Bula Million Tui, awesome work, guys. Bula, Bula Brand. Okay, so we have <clears throat> another request from, uh, uh, it was, uh, it is actually uh, Glenn who uh, asked for, uh, because the moon, the we have the blood moon tonight. <laughs> okay. So we have the blood moon tonight. And so he's asking, okay, you know what? I refreshed the page and I lost it. Okay, you can save that. Yep. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the, the comments. No, sure. Okay, we have uh, Sunil Ram, who's asked for Hulk smashing the coronavirus. Ah, okay, that's cool. We already got a coronavirus. Uh, <laughs> already got a coronavirus. Um, I'm just trying to access the comments. Man, I saw Glenn. Uh, Glenn, I hope you didn't. Okay, it's here. It's here. My bad. My bad. So, Glenn. Glenn is asking for there's a blood moon tonight at around 11 i think uh, if i recall it starts at nine ish uh, okay but check 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 the internet don't depend on some random guy on on facebook because as we all know facebook is not a good great source for uh very verifiable data and information i uh, can have a mm -hmm. peek of the blood moon looking at earth and wondering what the heck is happening in the world oh boy that's uh, Glenn's request. So, a picture of the blood moon looking down at Earth and being very confused. Mm, okay. I will let your imagination run away. Confused blood moon. Confused blood moon. That's right. We can just uh, uh, leave it at that. Confused blood moon. <laughs> oh, boy. Your silence makes it sound like you're confused. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Darren and Moe. Naka Glenn. <laughs> they, say, they say hello. Uh, oh, I can recommend a drawing it's not, not too hard since the hey, clip is a shadow dancing on the moon. Okay, so we already have sort of two moon requests. So we'll, we'll, we'll lump them into one. We'll have the confused moon. And. Yeah, we'll just have the confused moon because it's apparently it's moon night tonight. Moon night. Who is up? Moon okay. Night. 
All right, so we have that uh, currently in the works. Um, you know what? All the while, while you're telling a story about that uh, artist, and I was wanting to say something about rap, <laughs> but like that ship is mm -hmm. safe now, and I'm sort of like, okay, we need to uh, talk about something else. I wanted to say that just recently, mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't know about you people watching, but for me, I sort of got into, um, I was, I was going to say improv rapping or just improv. <laughs> <laughs> but I like watching these, uh, I, you know, I'm saying improv rapping. That's not the, that's not the street term. Um, the word is failing, you know. What's the term when you rap and you don't? You, you mean freestyle? So like freestyle rapping? Right. Free, oh my goodness, freestyle. So I've just been going down the rabbit hole of watching freestyle rap videos and alerting yeah. about you know, freestyle rapping and the, diff, the minute differences between uh, like rapping off the top of your head and sort of like having some lyrics. Uh, apparently, good freestylers have a bunch of uh, rhymes uh, sort of in their pocket, and when they're required to rap, they have this you know you know list of words that rhyme together, and they build the sentences around that. So you know, uh, a, as with okay. uh, any other skill in artistry, you have to be prepared and you have to have done the work and uh, learned the craft. So I guess in freestyle rapping, you know, it's like you have this um, set of, um, you know, ex experience uh, with using these particular words together. And then when you, when you, when it's time to go live, then you, you're ready to go. I don't know what the equivalent would be for artistry, especially with um, drawing live. Um, what do you think? If you were to compare freestyle rapping to live sketching to a, what do you think would be the similarities and the differences? Um, oh, well, not just live sketching. I mean, just uh, drawing. Uh, like commercial illustrations work like that. I mean, you have uh, shortcuts that you use. Well, you know, that, that you can pull up. Not pull up. It's because like if you've drawn a hand a certain way, many times you can draw draw that i suppose yeah like okay so this this moon is confused so the and he's looking down at earth so i'm just playing around with perspective but i've probably drawn this you know more than you know i don't know i've drawn this heaps of times this expression i suppose um, i have seen that yes yeah you know, um, and then that's just my go-to expression. Okay, confused. You know, unless oh. I I was able to push it, and then uh, I would probably come up with something a bit different. Right. But um, yeah, that's. Uh... Sorry, I mean, what what did Darren and Moore say about the moon? Uh, it's not. It's uh, looking at the Earth and being confused. Oh no! But that that was Glenn's. Yeah, Glenn. And what um, was I, I did? Uh, she recommended because she or he, I don't know who's commenting because they <laughs> they've got the two people one account uh, thing. So I'm gonna assume. Yeah. I'm gonna assume it's both of them replying at the same time. They're fighting for the keyboard space, and one settled <laughs> for one person typed one letter and the other person types the other letter. And so they are now figured out how they can type together, you know, one keyboard, two people, two hands. It's chaos, but uh, that's that's how I like to picture it. Is that how it is, uh, Darren <laughs> and Moe? <laughs> so what? they've recommend, they've asked if uh, it's a lunar eclipse to have a shadow dancing on the moon. Ah. So maybe you just have okay. a shadow of a dancer. Shadow of a dancer. Okay. It's Scarlet. Oh. Scarlet. Apparently, it's Scarlet who's uh, posting from Darren and Moe's um, account. This is so confusing. 
<laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, a ten-year-old. <laughs> oh, uh, you know what? We'll just say it's a family account and just leave it at that. So now you've made the my my imagination worse. So now you have the whole family fighting over the keyboard, trying to get one letter in. Wow, must be chaos. Well, Scarlet won. Yeah, she won. She won. She won this round. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> um, we have um, Oisles, uh piping in with a yo. Bula Kuz with a nice um, sticker yo. As well as uh, Honson Chan. Bula Meli and... Hey, Honson. What are you Bula Honson. What are you drawing? So now it's my turn to be confused. Hmm? It's a werewolf. Kind of. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Because <laughs> I didn't see that coming, that's for sure. Well, it's a blood um, blood moon. I don't know what else to do. Like full moon, mm. like lunatics. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, it's, it's funny how you can sort of trace your train of thought till you get to the drawing that you're drawing now. So you got moon, you got blood moon, you got from that you got a uh, lunatic and from lunatic you got werewolves werewolves that, that's discriminatory against werewolves to all the uh people afflicted by like canthropy is that the semi-scientific term for werewolves we apologize um we like you all werewolves or not until of course you uh bite off one of our legs then, then see that, well, Larry, you should you should ask uh, dr Dr. T about uh, what what's um, the Fijian word for werewolf? Fijian word for werewolf. If she's watching Dr. T, if you're watching Bula, first of all, and second of all, <laughs> if is there a is there a, a Fijian word for werewolf? And then to add on to that, if there is a Fijian word for because with the, the werewolf is actually where w e r e and then wolf, so the wear being the half man, half thing, half animal. Um, so I'm wondering, if, I'm wondering if there's a Fijian term for half man, and then you have half um, that. Or even if you are uh, more confident in your Fijian, want to take a crack at it, uh, drop it down in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> you you may be absolutely wrong, and I would have no idea. I'll just take your word for it. Um, yeah, you know what, uh, Tui, that's a that's a sufficiently confused um, moon. <laughs> I know. I was gonna turn him into Michael Jackson. I think that's pushing it. Yeah, no, no, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. dancer on the moon, moonwalker. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You finished that up. Actually, we've got one request all the way from uh, Twitter. Oh, it's another moon thingy, man. What is what is with you guys in moons? <laughs> um, yeah, you. Yeah, you I gotta stop. Up. Yeah, you, you, you can tidy that. Oh, are you putting on the dance moves on him now? Yeah. Huh. Well, so, okay. Oh, sorry. What's the next one? You wanna hear about the next one? Did you watch the Star Wars yeah. uh, show, uh, The Mandalorian? Who, me? Yes, you. Could it yeah, be? I might have, might have watched it. Yeah. You watched it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So we have one request from Bill Ben. He's asking for Mando and Grogu. So that's The Mandalorian and the uh, Baby Yoda. And they walk uh -huh. in front of a supermoon. So I wonder if you could just do the big moon. In front of? In front of a supermoon. I wonder if you could just do the silhouette. Oh, uh, let's see. This is the nice thing about drawing with digital. What? Um, you get to, uh, well, is control Z, which is huge. All right. But it's also just moving things around. 
you know, I, um, it's funny. My, my dad is a painter. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. He's a, he, in his, in his younger days, he used to paint a lot. And so he encouraged me to learn painting. And man, I've only ever drawn. I've only ever done drawing. And so the idea of painting, sorry, I, I should, let, let me rephrase that. I've only ever done drawing and then on the computer doing graphic design. I've never actually painted. And the idea of painting something and then not being able to press control Z to undo it, boy, that freaked me out. Huh? Yeah, so, uh, so for any artists watching, please don't laugh at me. Oh, or laugh at me, it's fine. I laughed at myself at the thought of this, but yeah, the idea that it's it's difficult to correct your or undo your work uh, physically on a canvas, that scared me. And so I never really got into painting because of that, which is really silly because, you know, I, I only after watching painting live streams, I saw that, you know, mistakes are part of the uh, process. Um, you know, you, you incorporate the mistake, or you can tweak it out. There's ways to paint over it, to, to, to draw it, to tweak it. Um, and so it's not a big deal to make a mistake when you're painting. And so that's the one thing that um, uh, I sort of had to 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 adjust my mind to. Are you, are you painted that uh, tweet? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's all right. I mean, you, you make mistakes, you just, you have to stop yourself from worrying too much about it. Like uh, painting is one of those things where your mistakes are hidden. If you understand. As in, as in you paint over it? Yeah, you can paint over it. Uh, um, but then, you know, the messier it is, the more finished your piece looks. You know, if it's very clean, uh, it's a painting and it's very clean, it doesn't look as if you've put much effort into it. If that makes sense. I'm nodding. Probably not. But my brain is not. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so if I didn't say anything, I'll be like nodding. People watch it. Yeah, yeah, okay. He gets it. I'm like, in my brain, I'm like, nah, nah, oh, bro. Maybe You're the, on your own. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. It's it's funny you you, okay. you mentioned. I better that. stop. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. No, it's. I don't like this one. Anyway. Uh, He's wearing a suit. What could you not like? Huh? A werewolf wearing a suit. A humanoid werewolf wearing a suit. Uh, with a hat. Come on, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got another moon request after this from uh, Bill Ben. Wow. Yeah. This guy's, well, uh, no, it, it is pretty bright. The moon? The moon? Yeah. Oh, I can't see it from my side. I have to go outside. Well, after this, after this um, session. Yeah, so what time is the blood moon? Um, uh, it starts around 11 ish, like the actual sort of okay. uh, thing, but. Uh, it's starting now, sort of the effect of the moon turning the color. Um, I, can't, I won't pretend to actually know what actually is happening. I think it's like, no, I won't say anything. I am comfortable with not knowing. <laughs> and if I yeah. anyone can drop in the comments, what actually is happening, explain to me. I'm all ears. I could just Google it up, but um, uh, for the sake of the uh, viewers, I will just stay down. All right. <laughs> Tell you, this is good. This is good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm yeah, stopping. Yeah, stop, stop. You, you got, you gotta, you gotta rein it in. Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. 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 What's the, What's the next one? Um. Yeah. So, it's Mando and Grogu walking in front of a supermoon. W walking in front of a what? The supermoon. You know, when the moon is like. Oh, super oh the. You know, the okay. moon has the cape and the S on it. That's what the super moon is, right? Okay. Ah, I'm just messing with you. That's when the but moon is the... like really super big in the sky. I think it's when it's closest to Earth, I think. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's that should be simple enough. <laughs> yeah, famous, famous, famous last words. Hopefully. <coughs> All right. So uh, if anyone else there has any other requests that doesn't involve a moon, you know, feel free to drop it in the comments and um, add a little spice and variety to the requests. Oh, Glenn says, oh, actually before that, uh, Lala Navesi says, amazing work, 100. Yeah, Tui, it's good stuff. Oh, I'm your, wow, thank you. I'm your cheerleader on, on screen. Tui, Tui, he's our <laughs> man. If he can't do it, someone else probably can, but they're not here on Zoom. You can That's probably find him on Fiverr. <laughs> oh, choose up Fiverr. Man, yeah. All right, that's another topic for another day. Glenn is asking, Tui, how many layers do you end up working with while drawing? Do you combine layers when done or do you leave it on separate layers and just export what you need? Um, so I'll just work with one pencil layer. Um, and then, uh, so I, I will, I'll work on a, okay. I'll work on a pencil layer and then I will, you know, um, fade it out. And uh, so I'll, I'll uh, sorry, how, how do you say, uh, opacity. I'll drop the opacity down. Right. Uh, so like right, right now I'm just working, this is like um, uh, airbrush setting. Uh, I'm just getting my pose right so i've got my horizon down there so this guy can be walking and then i can just have a big moon at the back like that so he can be in silhouette um and then uh, from that i can use so i'll go into a, a thinner pen like an ink inking pen so i've been using um uh oh can you see the tools on the side no so like this actually... slider here uh, yes can I you can see that slider, yeah Okay, so that I'm, I'm just adjusting the, so this one is to make it is your opacity. So I'm taking my opacity now and I'm working with a thinner, with a thinner pen. So okay. that might be too thin. Uh, and then this, this I can just go in and just put in um, uh, details. So I'm going to go in. Um, tighten up the head. I want the head facing uh, this way. So, like, if that's his head, his head is facing this way. I'm going to tilt his head that way. Um, shoulders like that. So his chest will be there. And then I'm going to have him bending his torso that way. Um, and his legs. Actually, going out. So, continue, continue yeah. that. I'll be right back. Continue that. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. carry on. Okay. Um, so I haven't uh, drawn in any any details uh, just yet. I'm just trying to get um, just the pose because uh, then over here I'll probably put uh, him holding Grogu here. Uh, and probably he's got a gun or something. Uh, Tatooine. So it can just be bear and big moon. So from there, I will uh, drop my opacity down with this slider. Uh, this is with the, the, the Procreate uh, software. Then I'm going to merge these two so that when I go into this, uh, onto this layer, my um, my uh, pen is uh, a lot easier to spot. And then I'm just gonna quickly go in and just put in uh, details. I'm not gonna worry too much about um, being overly accurate, right? Because you're just getting the sense yeah, of right now. Know. It's all 
Yeah. So as you as you yeah, join the uh, the the sketch of the uh, Mandalorian, I went and got a reference. Uh, behold, it's Grogu. Oh, what? Can, wait, can you see my screen? No, I can't see your screen. No. Well, oh, I can't. Maybe other people can. Well, the other people aren't joined Grogu. <laughs> I've got Grogu here. <clears throat> Grogu, say hi. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Hey. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey, Grogu. Yeah. <laughs> he is so cute in the movie, in the uh, TV series. <clears throat> I like the... Um... Yeah, and he starts eating... Man, the eating eggs. those babies. Good lord. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah, the eggs, yeah. They, play, they, so. they played it off as funny, but I was just watching in horror. I was like, oh my god. You mad? Yeah. You murderer. Yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> so I've gone and um, Googled uh, to just to get a look. Of uh, the armor, but that's the. Uh, I'm not going to be too. Um, I mean, if it was, um, yeah, like if it was a finished piece, and then I could, uh, I'd spend a lot more time on it. Um, so the the sketches that you see here, uh, this this is the kind of framework that I would work with uh, to to get a finished piece. Um, so this is just the. Uh, So there was this thing about um, well, when we had to um, when we were learning uh, about um, yeah, continue. Uh, sorry, when we were, we were studying, there was this thing called uh, gesture drawings, which is about trying to create um, images just using you know um, just lines um, the least amount of well being um, efficient with your use of lines right um, and there was this this girl that I um, was in the class and she was just really good with her uh, her lines I mean she'd go in and she was super fast and um, just really efficient. So she can go in and sit in a dojo and just draw Where? A, a dojo. So she'd go in. As in the Japanese uh, during, building dojo. Oh, uh, yeah, like, uh, like people are having karate uh, lessons. And she'd go in and he, she'd sketch, you know. So, she, wow. pe she, well, so while people were moving, she's um, sitting there um, drawing, um, drawing out all their movements. And she's so, so quick, she could capture all of this. Uh, I'm not that quick. I mean, I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah. But that's something that, uh, you know, you would always kind of, uh, you always kind of work on. So, like, I've started um, drawing this and I've laid out a framework, uh, you know, that I'm following for my pose. And then halfway through, I'm realizing, oh, that leg looks funny. So, so you follow it. I'm following it and then when it doesn't work for me, I've I've uh, adjusted it. So it's, it's it's all trial and error. Right, work in progress. Yeah. Well, um, Bill Ben says thank you, thanks, thanks, Prof, and asks uh, as a follow-up question: What's you two's favorite Star Wars movie from all the trilogies? Mm, very contentious uh, question. I'll, I'll let you st start, uh, Tui. What is your favorite Star Wars uh, For film? me? Uh, probably... Trilogy. Okay. Um, probably Return of the Jedi. Because I watched that in the theater. That's how old I am. Oh, wow. You're old, like I watched Return lucky. of the Jedi when it came out. Yeah. Um, Why do you like it? And 
oh, um, I think it was just the whole, the, the, the character arc. I really enjoyed the, um, how um, the, the character arc of, of Luke, you know, he was this, he'd really, um, you know, he was, all, he was all in black. He was cool. He was, um, he had a green lightsaber. There was so many things that were different about him. Um, as a character, he he changed so much, and I really, I really liked that. Right. Uh, when I was a kid, I thought that was really, I thought that was epic. Epic. What would you have said in your day? Um, in my day, I don't know. Um, I don't know brilliant i suppose that man that sounds so old that sounds so british brilliant <laughs> yeah brilliant watching the harry Everything potter was... harry potter behind the scenes and the kids are like brilliant wow yeah. is... wicked wicked yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i think i i think in my time it was heavy what Heavy. Well, that was heavy. heavy. Yeah. Choose up. Choose up. Back in my day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess for me, my favorite Star Wars movie actually is also Return of the Jedi as well. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, I like Return of the Jedi because it was the complete complete set for me you know i had laser sword fights at space battles action and adventure. yeah and uh it didn't end on a scary note like um empire strikes back <laughs> yeah just you know it is what it, it, it's designed to, to to keep you up for the last one but for me i was like oh my goodness how is this gonna end i couldn't deal with it as a kid <laughs> I, I watched Star Wars, the original trilogy on the TV. So yeah, different different viewing experience for me, but still had the same effect. My my brain was exploded. Amazing. I, I loved space battles. Yeah, I remember <clears throat> watching like Star Trek and thinking, Ooh, why are they talking so much? Oh, I like Star Trek too. <laughs> yeah, but when I was a kid, yeah. Yeah, well, but when you were a kid, you, it's different because you watched, well, there was like Battlestar Galactica and right. all these other, um, you know, Star Wars movies. Well, yeah. not Star Wars movies, but uh, movies. Space sci -fi. You know, the dogfight in the sky. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. None of this talking and diplomacy among aliens. Yeah, yeah. It was all yeah. about. Uh, yeah, fighting. I, I, I've only ever come to appreciate Star, uh, Star Trek recently. I started watching it um, six, seven years ago, and uh, I've never looked back. I'm, I'm a bona fide uh, Star Trek fan. Yeah. Okay. One, one so which question. ones do you... Which ones what? <clears throat> yeah. Which Star Wars um, were you in? Uh, sorry, which Star Trek... Um ones did you watch so with star trek fans they often identify themselves with a particular series kind of like uh, how doctor yeah. who fans they identify themselves with the uh, doctor that they grew up with <clears throat> like they'll say oh my doctor was this guy yeah. my doctor was the 10th doctor the eighth doctor for me for the for star trek it's always like i i'm a this particular ser star trek series fan or i'm a so for me my favorite i've watched I'm actually still making my way to Voyager, Star Trek Voyager, but I, I, I'm a big fan of the uh, TNG, The Next Generation, the song with uh, Picard. Jean-Luc Picard, um, that's my favorite. Yeah. But the close second is Deep Space Nine. That one was uh, really, that one was really interesting. It took the series into some interesting new directions. Uh, just make the moon uh, red, uh, to it. Uh, consider it. Ah, uh, uh, right, yeah. Damn, this actually looked cool. <clears throat> Glenn, I hope you're happy with this one. Uh, sorry, not Glenn, um, Ben. 
Ben. Bill Ben. He's a, Bill Ben. He's a, he's a true blue nerd. Probably more than me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I hope he's happy with this one. And Grogu, are you happy with this one? Yeah. Yeah, Grogu's happy. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, terrible. Oh, actually, it's more like a... <laughs> oh, well, let, me, let me just try something. Uh, hmm. Oh, there you go. Oh, very nice. Very nice, Tui. Yeah. Hmm. That's... You, you, you sound pretty chuffed yourself. Yeah, it's all about uh, laziness. The least amount of effort. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed yeah, to make cool. the process mysterious and artsy and, and magical and wondrous and yeah. whimsical. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jingas, well, as luck would have it, it's actually nine o'clock. Okay. Slack. Yeah. Is that all? That is all. I think um, you, uh, yeah, you, you spent a lot more detail on these uh, three drawings. I yeah. Believe. I should have just been more, trying to get more. Well, I only did how many? I, mean, I only three. did three. Yeah. I did three. But what uh, yeah, amazing been... three drawings they were. Oh, cheers, bro. Very, very uh, cool. Very cool. Especially considering all the uh, eyes that were on it. Yes, all seven eyes. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for everyone who tuned in. So I guess we'll call this um, session to a close. Kere Art, part two, the sequel returns. <laughs> Um, this was a session to, for you viewers to get to know Tui more and get to see him in action. He's uh, one of the uh, uh, many talented gang that will be working on the um, Solim Bula film. And we're currently doing a Kickstarter to try and get the production funded. Uh, you can, if you want to help uh, bring this uh, production to light, you can become a backer on go to Kickstarter and uh, Google Solim Bula, that's S-O-L-I-B-U-L-A, or you can uh, get the link from our Facebook page, the one that you're currently watching it on, or if you're watching it on the uh, Pimeli Tungata website, uh, sorry, Facebook page, you can also see the link to the uh, Solim Bula Facebook page, and the link to the Kickstarter is there. We're in our third week, I believe, of fundraising. We've got one more week to go. And we're currently like 60% oh, wow. funded. So 40%. Let's try and get it to the end. Um, yeah, a week and a half, I think, ish to go. Or a week. I'm not sure. A few days, definitely. Uh, just a little over seven or eight days. But we're nearly, uh, we're 40% we're out. I'd say we're 40% out. So, um, you know, please. Uh, if you'd like to support uh, local filmmaking and um, uh, local film production, please uh, share the uh, Kickstarter link uh, uh, and try and get the word out to as many people as possible so we can be funded to work on this short film all the way from Fiji with all Fiji gang. That's the coolest part about it. Yes, born and bred all here in Fiji. Tui, thank you very much for your taking time out of your busy schedule i had to fight with your pa to get a to get a slot uh, <laughs> uh tonight and oh uh, thank you yeah it's been really fun uh, hanging with you on zoom and facebook and i'm um, getting to watch you art live so to speak um thank you everyone for tuning in watching in and uh yeah um spread the word for for the kickstarter and uh, tonight, go out and check the moon. Go and look at the uh, the, the blood moon that uh, will be popping up, I think, around 11-ish. Don't quote me on that. So on behalf of uh, Solimbula, Tui, and I, have a safe evening. 
especially with the COVID uh, running rampant right now. Please stay home if you can, stay safe, mask up if you go out there. And whenever possible, please try and get vaccinated. I've got my vaccination. I got the one of two vaccinations. So I'm half safe. <laughs> um, so when you can, and when the government releases the, uh, the timetable for vaccination drives in your area, please make the effort to go. And uh, we'll see you, everyone, on the other side. Naka. Oh, sorry, Tui, you want to say Mode? Oh, yeah, uh, Mode. <laughs> <laughs> and Grog, who says no. goodbye as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mode. Yes, sir. Naka. All right. <laughs>